Today we are going to learn about a very interesting lab for our mechanisms and dynamics of machine course that is our lab 3 the Lego Mindstorm EV3 drawbook. It is very interesting and has a lot of fun. In this lab we are going to build and analyze Lego Mindstorm drawbot mechanism. The learning objectives are to build a drawbot with the ability to draw using the Lego Mindstrom EV3 Academic Kit. We will be able to program the drawboard using the EV3 software to draw a perfect circle. And then we're going to analyze the movement of the mechanism with the theory that you have learned in this course and we'll analyze based on the relationship between the links, motor speed and direction. And finally, will simulate the same mechanism that you created um, for the drawboat in working model software that you have learned in lab 2 and will compare the simulation with the analysis that you did in previous step. Here is an example of how to make a drawboat using a LEGO Mindstorms EV3 kit these are some basic steps. First, we will familiar ourselves with the system. Then we will learn how to turn it on and off and connect it with the computer. Then we will make a construction plan how our mechanism will be so that it can hold a pen and rotate. So for that mechanism, we need some gear to connect with the motor. Then we will build the arm that will hold the mechanism. And we'll finally, we'll make a pen holder that will hold the pen to draw. Once that finished, we'll program the draw bot and we'll control the rotation and direction of the motor to draw on a paper. And the step eight is the key step because here we're going to change the motor speed and direction that will decide what will be the shape of our drawing. Is it oval? I remember our goal is to make a circle. Then once done, we're going to analyze the drawbot mechanism using the theory that you have learned in this course. And then we're going to simulate the same mechanism using the working model software. Using working model software that you have learned in previous lab. And finally, we'll conclude with comparing the simulation from working model software with the analysis that you have made um, of the actual mechanism. So in the first step, let's familiarize ourselves with the EV3 system. You can find the manual for this Mindstrom EV3 on the blackboard. You can also find it on the website. Basically, it comes with a brick, which is the EV3 brick, where we upload the program and it controls the motor. And these are the two motors you see. And with the, with the kit, it comes with a lot of Lego parts. You see there is gears, there is connectors, there is pins, and um, there is a USB cable to connect the brick with the PC, and there is other cables to connect the motor with the brick. And this is the user guide that I said you can download and read. So our next step is step two, where we're going to see how to connect the brick to a computer or your uh, laptop. Um, if you're using your laptop, then you have to install the EV3 software, which is free. In our lab PC, EV3 software is already installed. So this is the brick, and you will see you have the USB. You have to connect the USB in this port where it says PC, and this USB end, we're going to go to your computer or laptop. Once we have connected the PC, now we need to know how we can turn on and off the EV3, which seems easy. The center button is turned on, and to turn off, you have to use this button at the top left here, and you'll follow on this tab, and in this um, turn off mode, you have to say yes using this button and it will turn off. To make 
a construction plan of your drawboat, the easier way is to see some drawboat that is already made by other students or um, other user. In the following slides, you will see one example, but on top of that, there is also a lot of examples are available on the web and also available on YouTube. Um, a good idea would, would be to see those drawboats that people made and kind of generate your own idea how your drawboat would look like, what would be the mechanism that you want to make for your drawboat. So now you go on the web or on the YouTube, search for drawboats using Mindstorm's EV3, and you will see a lot of example for your brainstorming. The step four is build the gears and connect them with motors. Again, this is just one example. You have seen the motors in the previous slide. What I used here, I used some Lego pieces to connect the arm, uh, the motor with this black connector here. I used, this is the red is the motor. I attached a gear. I attached another big gear so that I can reduce the speed and also it has four holes so I can attach the end of my uh, scissor mechanism. So you can design as way you want. I use different pins to connect this. You can see here this um, arm, um, the motor and um, with the motor to attach the gear I use this arm to attach with the pins. But it doesn't have to be exactly the same. You can design your own, um, making your own plan. But this is just an example. So how to build the arm? Again, you have the brick that is connected with your PC. I have attached this Lego piece using three black pin here so that I can attach. It can, it can have additional hole to attach these holes of the motor. And in previous slide, you saw that I have made this motor now i'm gonna um, attach this motor with the um, brick using these four pins so these four pins two will go on the top from these two that will go through these two hole and these two are gonna go come from the bottom holding it um, tight with the brick so this is how it looks like i have the motor attached to the brick using those pins and I made the same thing for both sides. Now you can see again, this is the motor, it will rotate. And I used same small gear to rotate this big gear. And it has the same gear. It doesn't have to have the same gear. You can choose a different shape or bigger or smaller gear according to your plan. The last step to build the arm is to connect the motor that we have attached with the brick using the cable. I have a short and long cable. Um, so I have connected, you see on the this end where you connected the USB, it goes, it's the, this is the USB port for the PC and it has four other port A, B, C, D. I have connected um, these two motor with C and D. You can also connect any uh, two port Whatever you connect, you have to remember which port you connect because that we're going to use for the when we write the program, we're going to call by this port where it is connected. So how to make a pen holder? You can make any shape of a pen holder. This is just one example of a pen holder that I made very simple. Um, this is one Lego piece and it has two pin and there is a locker. To a simple lock, the pen will go through this two port. It is not a tight pen holder, uh, but it works. Uh, you can make your own pen holder more rigid as you want. As long as it holds the pen, that should serve the purpose. So this is the mechanism I have made, a scissor mechanism. And at the end, I have connected the pen holder using this blue pin on the on this end, you have this um, red and blue pen pin that is to connect this mechanism with the motor. 
you see I have used these two gear so when this gear rotates this end will go this way and that way that way the scissor will move forward and backward and that's that's how it's gonna draw and that's how the pin gonna move As I have said earlier, the key is to make, make the draw board to be able to draw a circle. And you see, after you make your program, you can change, again, this is C port and D port, so where our motors are connected. So you see, you can change clockwise or counterclockwise rotation. You can also change the rotation speed. And you have to change this to in a combination in such a way that the end product, the robot can draw a circle. So here is an example of my robot working at a certain orientation, direction, and speed. Now if I change the um, direction and rotation it should um, show, give you another um, drawing. See in this uh, video when I have changed um, the direction and the speed it is with the same setup I have not changed it physically but just by changing the direction and um, the rotation speed, it is giving me different shape. So in the video, you saw that I did not make, my robot was not making a perfect circle, close to a circle. But your goal is to uh, calibrate the rotation and the um, rotation speed, uh, rotation direction and rotation speed, such that it creates a circle. Once you have accomplished that, then you have to analyze the drawbot mechanism using the theory that you have learned in class. And also remember to record the number of links that you have used, record the length, length of the each uh, links and motor speed and direction that you used, because this data is going to be used for the next step where we're going to use um, the software to make the simulation. So again, um, we have learned to how to use working model software to create a 2D um, drawing of your mechanism and simulate. So open your um, working model software and um, simulate the mechanism and collect the data from the software so that you can compare with the, your with your analysis. So in the results section, you have to compare what was the data you have found, what was the analysis um, you have found of your mechanism, and what result you have got from your simulation, and compare if they're, if they're very accurate, a little off, 
are very off. So just compare these two uh, results. So in the discussion section, discuss if you were able to draw a circle with your draw but mechanism and what was the main challenge you face when you are trying to calibrate the draw bug to make it able to draw the circle and how did you overcome those challenge and um, next you're going to discuss if the working model software agrees uh, with the actual um, analysis of the actual mechanism and did you notice any differences and if there's any um, why are the differences so conclusion part is the same for all our labs as usual you have to make a paragraph briefly summarizing the experiment that you did for this lab um, include the main results um, summary the main results and uh, inter uh, inference any drawn that you made from the uh, experiment the references for this lab is the lego mindstorms um, EV3 manual that is also available in the Blackboard and also in the website. Um, the textbook of your course for the analysis of the actual mechanism and also the lab handout. So that is all for our lab 3. In our lab 4, next lab will be on single train and compound spark gears. Till then, um, take care. I'll see you in the next lab.